guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin and I am Nerd A La Mode. And today we are going to go through all of my trash. So today, like I said, we are going to be going through my beauty trash or an empties video if you would. But you can see, I'm very, very au natural today because I have been incredibly sick and um, yeah, I'm really tired, so this is what you get today. That's okay. I'm still super fly. So today we are going to go through my empties. This is a mix of um, stuff. If you have never watched one of my empties videos, I include things like fitness items, protein powder, pre-workout, um, BCAAs, stuff like that. I also include tea because I am an avid tea drinker. Sometimes I'll include coffee, but most of the time it's tea, skin care, hair care, um, body care, scented things, candles, lots of candles, um, makeup, that sort of thing. So I have a little bit of everything here today and, uh, Let's get into it. So one of the first things that I went through was this Bath and Body Works Happy Halloween candle. This smells highly of cinnamon and holy crap does it remind me of Halloween. I did burn this because for a while in the beginning of the year I didn't have a candle. I am one of those people. I am very, very, um, attached to scents. Scents really like can trigger like emotions and memory and stuff like that in me. So I didn't really want to burn it because this just reminded me of Halloween every single time I smelled it, but it is very cinnamony and lovely. I wonder if they put the notes on here. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I didn't get any pumpkin, but okay. That's cool. Um, but I basically, I just love this candle. It's just a black three wick candle. I can't get it to burn anymore, unfortunately. So I will be getting rid of that. The next thing I used twice and I almost died. <laughs> Not literally. Um, this is the Rose Jam Body Spray from Lush. It says a sweet, fruity, rose and vanilla scented mist that'll leave you with a trail of admirers. And I don't know... I mean, I'm not looking for admirers, but I used it twice and it was so overpowering. Like I even did a thing where like I spray it in the air and then walk through it like all the girls in middle school used to do with their Bath and Body Works body sprays. And even that was too overpowering. I just, I could not do it. It was almost like sickly sweet to me. And I am very frustrated because I spent like $50 on it and then I didn't have the receipt and I didn't have the receipt mailed to me. So I don't know if I can return it. And it's been a long time too. Um, and so it just, I mean, I love the concept of it. I really love Lush and their ingredients. And in the store with all of the other scents, it smelled really light and fresh and rosy. And I loved that. But I think I'm just going to have to go back to my body shop, British Rose, because I like the scent of that one a lot more. This is just like even smelling it now, it smells lovely. But as soon as I spray it on myself, I just, I can't, I don't know if it, it reacts with my body chemistry and that's what's happening to it or what, but it was just so, so overpoweringly strong. I went through a President's Choice Spiced Apple Herbal Tea, um, went through all of them. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite herbal tea. I will probably buy this until the day I die. <laughs> no. Um, but I just absolutely love it. I, it's not too sweet. There's no added sugar or anything like that. It has zero calories. So it's a great way in these harsh Canadian winters just to warm yourself up. And um, yeah, it just, it tasted really good and I really liked it. I also went through a chamomile, honey, and vanilla. I had it in this um, David's Tea container and I went through all of them. Um, it was nice, but I've just found that I used to think that I had to be like all bougie and everything like that and love chamomile and like be like all about like all sorts of teas and stuff like that, but I just don't like chamomile that much. 
I don't like chamomile and I don't really like Earl Grey. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna say it now. For me, it's either Irish or English breakfast tea. I love Lady Grey. That stuff is delicious. But for me personally, I like either English or Irish breakfast tea. Those blends are, for me, that, that's what keeps me going in life. <laughs> Over Christmas, um, I finished this in the last few days of, uh, or in the last, in the first few days of January, as it were. This is the Murchie's Christmas Tea. It says rich black tea, orange peel, cinnamon, cloves, and vanilla. It has all of that, and you can really taste it. Murchie's teas are quite expensive. Um, I don't know how much this was. Um, it's quite, it's pretty expensive. I think for this tin, it's probably like 20 dollars I think maybe 25 for this tin but it just oh it smells like Christmas to me and I absolutely love it I really like black tea um and it just gives you that boost and I just I love this I love the little container that it came in um and I will definitely be repurchasing this next Christmas I went through an entire tube of Pacifica Coconut Milk Shave Whip. This um, Pacifica, you can find it at Target or I think you can buy it online, but I find mine at Winners. And I love Pacifica products. They're really amazing. They are a little bit higher end for the drugstore, but to me they're worth it. And I think that this Shave Whip did an amazing job. I was really happy with it. So I will definitely be repurchasing this when I'm done using what I'm using now. Um, I also went through the Body Shop Seaweed Oil Balancing Toner. This stuff leaves a residue on my skin. I tried it a couple of years ago because my best friend got it and she said that she didn't really like it so she gave it to me and it was just like a little one or something like that and I tried it and I was like I think it leaves a residue on my skin but there wasn't that much left in order for me to try it. So I went into the body shop and I was like, hey, like I need something. I have extremely combination skin, super dry, super oily. I need something that's just going to balance everything out and also get the gunk off of my skin and help with the size of my pores. And they were like, oh yeah, like do this one. But this one just, it just leaves a film on my skin and I don't like it. And it's bubbly and it feels gross afterwards. I used the whole thing up because I bought it and it was by the time I found out and really figured out that I didn't like it, it was too late to return it. But it's just something that I'm not a fan of. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. It says it removes waterproof mascara. Um, these are 25 wipes in here and I think they're about eight or nine dollars, which is not bad. I get mine at Shoppers. And I don't know, I'm just really torn with these because part of me is like, now there's this plastic packaging that it says it's recyclable, but in Ottawa, we can't recycle our plastic. And not just that, even if you do recycle the plastic, a lot of times it still ends up in the landfill, which ends up in our oceans. And that's not cool, people. So part of me is like, is it really worth it? But the other part of me is like, it's just, they're so good at removing <laughs> makeup and just gunk from my skin and I just really like them but at the same time I'm like I don't know I don't know we'll see I finished a perfume guys this is Versace bright crystal this is my favorite perfume of life it is so clean smelling and light and fresh bright crystal is the perfect name for it I am one of those people, I would love to keep this bottle, but as it is, I think I'm just going to have to go to Sephora and buy a new one when I'm able to, because obviously this perfume is expensive AF, but it is so good. It's gorgeous. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, and I know it's Versace, but it's so good and it's perfume and I'm in love. So if you like really, really clean, lovely scents. This is the 50 ml one, and if you just like clean, bright scents that just make you smell fresh and good and awake, highly recommend. I went through an entire Hurrah Papaya Pineapple Lip Balm. There is literally nothing in there. 
Um, I absolutely love Hara. I love the company. I love how accessible accessible they are to everyone. I think Hara is even sold in sport check now which i really appreciate um i like getting the they kind of like have seasonal ones if you would um so i kind of shop them seasonally but i absolutely love this i'm actually working on cardamom almond rose right now and it is fantastic it is just lovely um i was working on this one since last summer and so you can tell it's not only lasted a while but it stayed good the whole time and I just, I love it. And the packaging is recyclable. Something that I wasn't, I don't know. I'm just really torn about this. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And while yes, this is apparently made from the same like material that BMWs are made from or something like that. And it does weigh as much as a BMW. I just am unsure about it. I go and I change my mascara every three to four months. And it just, I'm, I think this is like $26-ish in Canada. And I just don't know. I don't know if I can justify it. And not just that, but the brush is gigantic. Like, look at how big this wand is. This is as big as my eye. And I just fell out, found that it smudged a lot underneath my eyes. A lot of people who have talked about it on YouTube have said that because it has oil in it, it doesn't smudge. But for me, that's the exact opposite. As soon as anything has oil in it, it just runs off my face. <laughs> so for me, um, I know this is supposed to be really nourishing for your lashes and stuff like that, but for me, it just smudged under my lower lash line. It dried out really quickly, and I just don't know if I can justify the price, but I will say that it made my lashes look absolutely beautiful, and um, it didn't have a strong scent or a weird scent or anything like that, and I do enjoy natural fiber brushes, so I don't know. You decide. I went through the Wet n Wild Photo Focus oops, Primer Water Spray. This came with their Flights of Fancy collection. I don't know if they sell this separately or not. Um, this is totally empty now. I used it to death. It's very hydrating, but it doesn't have the best smell. It smells like the Photo Focus line kind of does. They kind of smell like, like alcohol-y almost, um, which isn't a deal breaker for me. I honestly couldn't care less. Um, I don't necessarily think I noticed enough of a difference to continue per to, to continue purchasing this, but for what it is, I do like it and the price point is really good. I went through an entire tube of the Corez Guava Body Butter and this stuff is amazing. It is thick, it is creamy. I would use this on my feet and after I shaved, my legs after I shaved my legs I would use this and also I use it every single night on my feet and I absolutely love it it's not sticky it's not greasy it is nourishing and it sinks in so well by the morning I feel like I didn't even put lotion on and it's not all slippery and stuff like that and it just I feel like it really sinks into my skin I love it the smell is absolutely amazing it's just, it's sweet yet fresh and a little bit powdery, but not like super powdery. It just has that little tinge of it and it's just phenomenal. The last product we're going to talk about is also from Wet n Wild. This is the Matte Face Primer. This is my favorite primer like for mattifying of life. I love this primer with my whole heart. It does such a good job of mattifying and it's just so thin that it doesn't make your skin look cakey or anything like that, but it also just mattifies really beautifully. It makes your makeup last really long time. It looks good with every foundation I've ever tried with it. It is my summer go-to. If I know I'm gonna be inside and dancing a lot, I'll use this. It's just lovely and I cannot recommend it enough. So guys, that is everything <coughs> in my um, empties for January of 2019. 
If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to share it with people who are very satisfied by going through products. <laughs> and I hope that if you like it, you'll give it a big thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.